Sir, have you heard a star won the third slot on Polka Dot? Holding a hair's edge above parallel for most of the ending period, the Holy Trinity of Kusama has been preserved on Polka Dot, leaving the door wide open for parallel to grab that fifth slot, currently leading the fourth auction with two and a half times more dot locked than Clover Finance. And while we're on the cheat sheet where we keep all the most up-to-date information on all the crowd loans past and present, let's check out Interlay, the sister project of Kusama's Kintsugi and their crowd loan offerings, keeping it simple with a proportional distribution of 10% of initial token supply with a 30-70 vesting model. Up to 5% in bonuses are available if you visit their crowd loan page linked below and complete a few tasks before they launch on December 15th. And over on the Kusama sheet, we have Sora officially announcing their bid. Like Edgeware, Sora is running as its own independent substrate chain, and the scope of its vision is massive. With frequent references to nation-states and the ability to scale as an interplanetary economic system, as I settle deeper into the project, I'll be looking for the steps covering the distance between where we are and where they think we can be. This new economic order, heavily influenced by the work of economist Richard Werner, has at its heart a bonding curve, which acts, essentially, as an infinitely liquid, decentralized central bank. Meaning the XOR token has an elastic supply, and at present, the proportional rewards up for grabs in this crowd loan will be less than 1.5% of the supply in circulation. The Sora pair chain will be maintained separately from the mother chain and bridged to allow the free flow of substrate assets into Pokeswap, the protocol's premier application. And lord knows we need an everything dex around here. First one to pull it off, I think, will be well loved by the community. They also have quite a complex and unique governance system worked out, which we can take a closer look at now that they've dropped the waifu branding. Otherwise, Subsocial riding high to the finish line, announcing in their monthly review that all who participated in their first and second auction batches will be receiving an NFT. And it's awesome to know almost 12,000 unique accounts will be rewarded with Sub, the token required for interacting on the platform. Altair teasing photos of their NFT studio, which should be live by the beginning of the year, and Darwinia announcing the first cross-chain bridge message, but sir, I'll have to tell you more about that next time. Have a great day, everybody.